Welcome to our family's kitchen. This video is a brief introduction to a limited series we are working on that will be called Cooking for Seniors and Those Who Will Be Soon. So no recipes today, just a little senior monologue. Recently a, let's say, young person came to me and said that I should do some recipes and cooking episodes for, and I quote, you old people. I asked him what he meant, and he said, you know, the senior citizens. I thought, really? And it got me thinking about the labels that we have today for everything and everybody. There's a, and even regarding age, that would include boomers, Generation X, Millennials, and the Gen Z's, of course. Now, being a senior citizen, I will use myself and my fellow boomers for the following example. If you do a Google search, you will find numerous definitions or labels for senior citizen, or the elderly, if you will. Some say, senior citizen is a polite expression for old person. Very old people are simply called the elderly. Other labels used are aged, geriatric, ancient, over the hill, long lived, of a certain age, octogenarian, long in the tooth, extremely mature, senile, doddering, decrepit, overaged, anile, grown up, pensioned, and unyoung. And those are just a few examples. Now, I happen to live in a retirement community in Florida, the senior mecca of the world. Here's a few examples of labels I hear in my neighborhood. Younger than she looks. He's older than he acts. Then there's youthful, ageless, juvenile, childlike, immature, infantile, babyish, kiddish. He has a preteen mentality, never grew up, the list goes on and on. But the bottom line is, the vast majority of us in our 60s and 70s do not feel or act our age. From time to time, we even scare ourselves when we look in the mirror, wondering, who is that old fool? Can't be me, I'm not even 40. Then common sense sets in, and we accept the older person looking back at us. But here's the deal, my friends. We have, may have moved away from flower painted vans to golf carts, but we didn't retire or move to Florida just to be old and die. I can talk about golf, pickleball, tennis, etc., etc. Y'all know that. But the point is, we are out here living and still enjoying some of the things we did in our youth. Remember this. We are the generation that gave the world some of the best music, cars, and lots of other good shit. And we don't spend all of our time sitting around. As a matter of fact, here's an example of a recent Saturday night in my neighborhood. Anyway, you get my point. The truth is, most of us seniors are just teenagers with 60 years of experience. The seniors or near seniors that are listening to this will understand what I'm talking about. So for all of the middle-aged, the millennials, our kids and grandkids, etc., time goes by very quickly. And before you know it, you too will be a senior citizen. So enjoy life. Don't make fun of what you are becoming. Because, kiddos, you are next. So in this upcoming limited series of cooking for seniors and those who soon will be, 
we will be presenting recipes for singles, couples, the budget-minded, some easy-ass cooking, some super healthy dishes, and hopefully a laugh now and then. Because really, how different is senior food from Generation X or Millennial food? And think about this. Some make fun of the elderly and Meals on Wheels program while they're setting up DoorDash and Uber Eats so they don't have to leave the house. Just saying. Well, I've droned on long enough. I've got to get back to the kitchen to whip up dinner for some old people. So thanks for stopping by. And, oh, one last thing. For those who can still remember their childhood phone number, but can't remember the password they created yesterday, you are my people. Well, that's it for me. Please visit us again. And until next time, Nastrovia.